Welcome back. A new report tonight shows that in 91% of U.S. counties, low-wage workers can't afford modest one-bedroom apartments, and yet the rent keeps going up. Mark Strassman takes a look at the problem from one of the busiest rental areas in the country. Nice little porch area. Like any renter here, Kavita Gwed knows Tampa is a landlord's market. But the single mother of three's family needs an affordable three-bedroom and fast. And how many places have you looked at? Uh, over 50. 50 places? <laughs> over 50 places, and I've reached out to over 200. All over Tampa Bay, all over the state of Florida. On average, Tampa's rents ballooned 22% last year. Father God, what am I going to do? Valerie Bannon's landlord in St. Petersburg hiked her rent nearly 60%. To 2400 a month for this modest four bedroom. Without options, legally blind, earning under 20 grand a year, this overnight auditor moved her family into a hotel, the bill paid by a charity. To me, it's no different from a hurricane or something disrupting your household and taking your home away, and you're being homeless, not having anywhere to go, and not knowing what to do. Fueling that hurricane here, thousands of pandemic relocations. Inflation, rising interest rates, discouraging buyers, and few tenant protections. Tampa recently put $5 million toward rental assistance, money gone in two days. Erica Belazarian could be too. This PR account exec's rent will jump $530 beyond her budget. If I want to pay less, which is my goal, I will need to move 30 to 40 minutes outside of this neighborhood. 30 to 40 minutes? Yes. Very clean, spacious. Gwed keeps looking, calling, emailing. Yes. Everything's expensive. This home's deal breaker, the pond. She says a danger for her autistic son. You hear somebody talking about it, but until you experience something firsthand, then it really doesn't fully resonate or hit you. A rental crisis that hits home every day for families like hers. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Tampa.